What or who mm -hmm. are your inspirations? Wow. I'd say like when I was not acting, but I wanted to be, mm -hmm. I was really looking up to like Jennifer Lawrence, Emma Stone, um, those kind of women in the industry that were like a little bit older than me, mm -hmm. but I was watching them from a young age and they were, they were so cool. Yeah. And they were like really just, they were convincing me that they were these people. Like Katniss, mm -hmm. the like Easy A. Yeah, like, say an easy like a, yep. just, and, and it's just, they were funny and they were beautiful and they were talented. And I was like, I would love to be them. Like I'd love to, like when I was reading The Hunger Games, I was mm -hmm. like, I was like pulling my arrow in my room and letting it go and seeing like, did I get the deer or not? Yeah, like, yeah. cause I was acting in my room, even though like nobody knew, but I'd say like those, you know, I'd say people in the industry as a whole are very inspiring to me because they sure. haven't given up. Yeah. And this is an industry where it's very easy to just throw in the towel and say, you know what, screw it. I'm not getting where I need to be. I'm mm -hmm. not where I'm supposed to be. You know, this agent isn't good for me. I don't have an agent, blah, 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 blah. Because you're comparing yourself to other people and that's never fun. But I'd say the people who haven't given up are very inspirational to me. And the people who have made a career for themselves later in their life. Those people I look to for like hope mm -hmm. as like, because I got into the industry when I was, I mean, I just started acting really for like what a year and a half two years yeah because like you, i'm a baby uh, yeah i remember when i first casted you you started like that like year before yeah we're already like kind of like a year or so in yeah I, think. I mean i and i wouldn't even say i was a year in at that point i would say like i was really just starting then because like i hadn't been on set i had maybe taken two acting classes and what was i really learning like there was so much to take in what was I really absorbing at that point? Uh -huh. Not much. So I was just kind of like, ah, I'm <laughs> just going to try and do whatever I can right, and right. see what works, what doesn't, and hope for the best. Yeah. The people who have like really become successful, like in their 40s or 50s even, and now they're like A listers. It's like, I, there is no rush. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I was ever rushing. I don't know why I ever felt the need to rush. And obviously it's because back to like comparing yourself to like other people your age. Well, they're there. Why am I there? Mm -hmm. I should be there. Well, mm -hmm. no, you shouldn't. You don't know what you're doing right. yet. Like you just started. It's okay. Slow down. <laughs> but I'd say, I know that's like a kind of a cop out to say everybody in the industry that like hasn't given up, but it's true mm -hmm. because I like, I look at them and I like sometimes will like watch interviews of, you know, I love the Sam Jones show, the on camera with Sam Jones, I believe. Is that like black and white? Yes. Okay. And I love when like actors who like we think they're so successful and they tell their stories of yeah. like, nobody wanted me. Right. Mm -hmm. And I did this for years. Everybody calls me an up and coming star. I wasn't up and coming. <laughs> I've been doing this forever. Right. How am I up and coming? How am I like <laughs> new to the to the field? I've, I've been here. Right. You just right. haven't been looking. Yeah. So I'd say like those, those stories that they those people they keep me going okay and now i think that's i think i'll settle on that answer nice because that's that's so there's so many people to like there are sure it's just that's yes, hard that's a very can't hard really question. pinpoint exactly who inspires you or what it's kind yeah. of like as a whole as a whole just what they do is yeah. what inspires you that's awesome uh you just spoke a little bit about what inspires you and you also kind of touched on a little bit that it keeps you motivated as well to keep going so just to give a little bit more of a, of just a platform for the both of you, the industry you're trying to break into is a very difficult one. Mm. You know, some might even discourage you almost mm -hmm. from what you're doing. So I commend both of you for staying motivated and to keep pushing forward. Well, thanks, Joe. So oh, let thanks. me, I want to ask you and kind of piggyback off her answers. Sure. What keeps you motivated? You know, I think it was because it was, it's always been my dream since I was a kid, mm. Mm. you know, and I really going through school and knowing I couldn't sit down for eight hours at a desk. Um, I was an athletic kid. So like fitness and sports were something I was going for a little bit, right. I guess, throughout high school. But mm. I just always had that that passion for film and I always just knew I wanted to be involved somehow. Mm. You know, and then I started to realize that I like to write. I like to be more creative, Definitely. have control over 
mm. certain visions. Right. Um, and then went to film school, realized you can make a career out of this. And, and if you get in, you know, a really good career. And it's like, why, why would I try to go and chase or why would I try to go make a career out of some thing that I wouldn't enjoy doing every mm -hmm. single day? And it right. feels like work. And you see so many people, you know, friends and family, I'd imagine all of us can relate that like you, they go and they're just miserable. Like, oh, I have to go on an eight to five. I mean, they do it. They get it done. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and they provide for themselves and their family. But, you know, I think our generation now, there's just so much accessibility and you can go out and, you know, make it not feel like work. Mm -hmm. Like that mm -hmm. is the one thing that like I will forever love until the day I die. Like if sure. I can make this a career in my life. Right. Like that'll be the best decision in my life. Mm -hmm. No, definitely, definitely. Um, now, again, for the both of you, would you say that, you know, you get sort of like these feelings of being uneasy at times because yeah. you're working from 24-7, <laughs> yeah. working from project to project. Yeah. You know, it's not a steady source, but <laughs> what you're doing, I mean, for all intents and purposes, is what you love doing and mm -hmm. it's your passion. So um, those feelings of uneasiness, like what what is that like? You can answer that. It you sucks. Know. Yeah, it I'm really sure does. It does. And lately lately i've been feeling like a little bit like oh god do i want to struggle mm. or do i just want to find a job nine to five i have health benefits i get a paycheck every week i can have a 401k mm. i can set up this life for myself right, right. and then i remind myself of who i am i'm mm. a person who loves living in the moment sure and that means understanding that the present is all i have and I might not get a future, yeah. you know, in anything. Mm. That 401k might not matter. I could die on my way home, like realistically. I know that's morbid, but it's like, I remind myself of that all the time. It's like, I, you know, nothing is guaranteed. So do what you want to do. Sure. And I know that can sort of, I think some people mistake that as like irresponsible, but it's like you... How irresponsible is it to waste your life doing something you hate mm. just out of fear of, you know, instability? Like, that sucks. <laughs> what kind Definitely. of life is that, you yeah, know? And absolutely. That just gave me the shivers. I, <laughs> I recently, yeah. I was, I love Jim Carrey and I love Jim oh. Carrey's whole <laughs> arc of uh -huh. himself. Right. Sure. And he seems to be doing very well on his spiritual journey and, you know, his artistic self right now. Mm -hmm. Great for him. He gave a commencement speech for college and yeah. there is, a, I just, I watched it on YouTube like yesterday and he was talking about his dad and how his dad could have been a famous comedian, so successful. He was one of the funniest people he knew and that was not a stable career path and so he like became, you know, somebody in finance, let's say. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I'm sure. <laughs> Let's say a couple years into his job, he gets fired, he gets laid off, okay. and their family has nothing. So Jim's point is uh, you can fail at something you don't want to do, mm -hmm. so why not do what you want to do? There's no guarantee that this stable life is going to be stable. Yeah. So it's a waste of time, you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? In essence, absolutely, yeah. And But it is, it is really, you know... Sometimes it's almost like a seductive thought of, oh my God, stability and, you know, having the weekends off. I can, mm. you know, I have enough money to go out to brunch and dinner and get drinks after and go to the spa and, right. you know, go dating, date anybody you want, spend money on whoever you want. Like, but it's like, I, do I want that? I mean, not really. Yeah. I just kind of want to. Make movies. <laughs> <laughs> right. Definitely.